Hi, this is Kevin from The Mathsaurus, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use your calculator, at least if you've got the Casio FX991EX calculator, to solve um, simultaneous equations and to solve quadratic equations. These are questions that come up at GCSE, and although you do need to still show additional working to what you get from this in the, in the exam, this calculator really does just solve those questions for you to some extent, so no excuse for not at least using this to check your answers. And it's one of the main reasons that I really recommend this calculator for GCSE maths as well as for A level. It's really essential for A level and just recommend it for GCSE. Um, but it is worth, I think, the few extra pounds uh, over over this model that you might have used in year seven and eight, say the FX85, um, because it has this additional feature. So let me get on with that and show you how to do it. Okay, so they've actually made it super easy to do this. Uh, to get to the equation mode in the calculator, we just go to the menu and we can scroll down uh, to this one here under the A. So you can see it's got a sort of picture of an equation and we can, uh, it says equation slash func. Uh, or, so you can either just press the A button or you can go here and press, uh, press equals, right? So I could, if I wanted to just go menu a and I'd get straight into the straight into that. Um, and then we've got two options. We've got simultaneous equation or polynomial. So let's look at simultaneous equations first. You can choose how many unknowns there are. Now at GCSC this is always going to be two unknowns, uh, but if you're doing A-level further maths you could do this for systems with three unknowns or four unknowns. The unknowns here are that usually we call them x and y. There could be any letter um, and at A-level you might have x, y and z. So we're going to choose two unknowns, and now all we have to do is to type the equations in. Now notice the equations do have to be in this form, so you might need to rearrange them first. So it's got to be something times x plus something times y equals something. But if I've got, say, 3x plus 5y equals 7, and I want to solve that simultaneously with 2x uh, minus 7y equals 3, I can just type all of those numbers in, and then if I press equals once more, it will tell me the value of x is 64 over 31, and the value of y is 5 over 31. So uh, really useful. Uh, obviously, in a GCSE exam, you might still need to show some working here, but a great check on your answers if you've already done them. Okay, so let's look at the second use here, which is to use it to solve a polynomial equation. Or uh, now at GCSC, that's always going to be a quadratic equation. At A level, it might also be a cubic equation. So a polynomial of degree two is what we know as a quadratic. Okay, so if I choose degree two in this menu, it says I've got ax squared plus bx plus c. So if I just type in the coefficients for my particular quadratic, maybe mine's four x squared plus 3x minus 7, say, then I can press equals and it tells me that the first root is 1 and the second one is minus 7 over 4. Um, as always, if this number comes out as a, something with a square root in it, you can press the S to D to change the form of the number. Even here I can change it between a decimal and a fraction. Um, and uh, so again, that gives us the roots uh, right away. So uh, how useful is that? Again, if you're doing a quadratic formula question at GCSE, you do need to uh, still show the working, um, but it can really help you check your answer and pick up any silly little sign errors you make along the way. If you're using this at A-level, you might also want to get it to solve a cubic, um, so a polynomial of degree 3, um, it, will, it will go up to a quartic as well, um, and you know you could type in the uh, coefficients of your cubic, and it, if, if they'll tell you the roots there are. Now for a cubic, we might have one, two, or three roots, um, but uh, we can press equals to scroll through whatever roots there are for that particular cubic. And um, you know, we can. It will also, if you want to, do a fourth order, uh, fourth order polynomial, and you can just type in the coefficients there as well. You don't use that as often, but maybe in some A-level questions, uh, that could be useful. Interesting extra fact. Actually, we can use the calculator to solve quadratic, cubic, and quartic equations there, and um, because there are quite easy, well, they're quite complicated actually, but formulaic representations for the solutions to those types of equations. And it's a very famous theorem in maths and a very difficult one, that it's impossible to find an easy formula for any fifth order equation or higher. Uh, so I think that's why the calculator probably stops at the fourth order equations here, because 
uh, technically speaking, it's much easier to solve uh, quadratic, cubic, and quartics than it is to solve fifth order, quintic, and uh, higher equations. So, fun fact there to finish off this video. So I hope you found that video useful. Uh, that's how to use the calculator to solve some of the GCSE uh, questions on uh, and some A-level questions on uh, simultaneous and polynomial and quadratic equations. So uh, don't forget in your real exams you do have to show as much working as possible so this should be thought of as a check rather than just a, a solution but you know you might be able to pick up one or two marks uh, even just with the answers so no harm in using it if you're really stuck. So um, loads more over at the website at mathsaurus.com. I've got videos on everything at uh, GCSC uh, and A-level maths and also uh, a video on which calculator to choose uh, and a blog there as well so if you're not sure which of these calculators is the right one for you to buy uh, please have a look at that although I think for most people watching this channel for GCSE and A-level maths for sure this is the calculator that you want because it really has this menu and it also has a load of extra stuff that you need, really do need for A-level maths.